No money, is it really no problem? Not really. You kind of need money to do property. You have many people, many gurus, many educators out there telling you no money down deals, lease option deals. Well, they're not really working for you, are they? Or are they? Comment below, let me know. Are you buying houses with no money? Because if you are, teach me, show me, give me the magic formula, which means that all of these properties that I am buying, I don't have to use my money anymore because you're getting them all for free. Yeah, so I think the comments are gonna be going anywhere really, are they? Let's be completely honest. But not having money really isn't a problem. And I'm going to talk you through why I believe if you have no money, you can still do property, but you have to get the money. So let's follow it through. Let's see how this goes. Let's see your thoughts. We need interaction on this video. We need comments. We need to know what your thought process is. So no money, no problem. If you have a deal, if you've got a property, a development, you've got something that works and all of the numbers stack up, but you don't have the money to do it. You've got to find an investor or a JV partner. Now, how do you do that if you don't have any credibility, if you don't really have a social media presence and you have no one to turn to? So my first port of call would be a networking event. Going to a networking event and speaking to people directly and saying, what are you doing in property? Or what do you want to do in property? A conversation leads to doors opening that many people don't understand because they've never done it. People struggle with networking. But when you're at a networking event, there are different types of people there doing different types of strategies. You have investors, deal sourcers, project managers, builders, solicitors, accountants. It's your job to navigate the room and find what you are looking for. There is money everywhere. Somebody somewhere has the funds that you need in order to go and do what you want to do. Now, how do I make somebody who has got money give me that money to do the project that I need to do in order to earn money myself? Well, it's all about the numbers and it's all about due diligence. It's all about having something that stacks up, that is explained in a very clear way that the person who has the money can understand it in simple terms. Do not overcomplicate deals. Make them as simple as possible. This is the purchase price. This is the refurb or the renovation cost. This is what we have to do with planning. This is what we're going to see the exit as. Flipping, refinancing, renting it out to uh, RSL, Housing Association, care home, the council, have every bit of detail that you can have, but in simple terms. You can go deeper into conversations once you've got the person's attention. Now, I know how you would get my attention. Purchase price, renovation, end value. That's how you would get my initial attention. Does this sound like a good deal? Are you presentable? Are you somebody I am looking at right now going, yes, this is a person that I could work with because they have the deal, they want me to invest, they don't want me to buy, they want me to work with them because it's their deal. It means how you present yourself, how have you come across. People with money are trying to invest in people and deals that they feel comfortable with. And all of this is a big part of feeling comfortable. Now you can do certain things. You can have a loan agreement, you can open a limited company, you can put charges on the property. The amount of things you can do to make the investor feel comfortable. If you've got no credibility, you're going to have to go to the ends of the earth. If you've got credibility and you have a standing in a social presence, most people will be okay because they know that you're not going anywhere if you don't have any bad intentions. So it gets easier if you do use social media to get money. You can also speak to accountants. 
Accountants will put you in touch with good brokers. Brokers are always speaking to investors. A broker can introduce you to an investor who they know has money because they have relationships with investors over time. People go back to the same brokers. So if you can start making relationships with mortgage brokers, that opens a door to investors. You can speak to the mortgage broker and say, I've got a great deal. I just don't have the money. And the mortgage broker can actually look through the deal and go, well, I have somebody that might invest in this. Again, it's all about networking. It's all about going out there and doing certain things. Finance is the key. Money in the property world is obviously the key. There's certain ways that you can raise capital. You can deal source. Um, I'm a massive fan of it. You know that, guys. I think deal sourcing is the greatest way to raise capital in the property world today. I think it's number one. Service accommodation, rent to rent. I don't mess with any of that shit because I am not a big fan of it. Service accommodation, I understand it. I see it working if it's yours. Rent to rent, just drop me out. Not interested. Going into 2024, I'm not going to be speaking about rent to rent again. I don't want to have that conversation with people. I know people use it as a stepping stone. I know there's a handful of people successful. Um, but again, it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. More power to the people that are pulling it off and doing it. The 10,000 people that contact me that have lost a lot of money, they don't want to put it on social media because nobody wants to highlight a loss. But deal sourcing is a great way to raise your finances. And you can get into deal sourcing technically, technically, with no money because you can cold source with people, which means you don't need to become compliant. You don't need to set up limited companies. You don't need insurance. You don't need to register with the ICO redress scheme. You don't need to do any of that. You can literally cold source. You can find a deal and cold source. Now, you might need some money to travel, petrol money, or a bus fare, or a taxi, or you can cold source with people who you find the deals and they go and view it for you. Again, no money. If you want something bad enough, you can actually go out and find a way to make it come to fruition. Having no money is the number one problem where people say they can't do what they want to do. I understand it, but there's money everywhere. You've just got to get out and you've got to be around people. You have to keep talking about what you are doing in order to attract the right thing. Negativity attracts negativity. Positivity attracts positivity. Try being positive. Try going around people. Try networking. Try using social media. It's free. No money. You don't need any money to post on Instagram. You don't need any money to post on LinkedIn. Why are you not posting 20 times a day? It's free. There's no cost. There's no charge. Do you actually want it bad enough? Are you doing everything you can do in order to create the life that you want to create? You've got to put yourself in a position that every single day that you wake up, you are 1% better than yesterday. Having no money is not a problem. Having no ideas, that is the problem. So guys, get out there. Doors will open. Make sure you're around the right people. Keep pushing every single day. Every single day. Keep going every single day. It might take some of you six months. It might take some of you three years. But I promise you, if you are consistently consistent and 1% better every single day, that door will definitely open.